Hey there, welcome back to our GIMP tutorial series. My name is Jim and today we're going to take a look at the gradient tool in GIMP 210. Now the gradient tool allows you to blend colors across a spectrum. So you see this used a lot in modern web design on things like buttons and branding. So if you have the fundamentals of this tool in your arsenal, you'll be able to take your designs to the next level and really give you that edge to make them look more professional. Let's hop right in and take a look at how to use it. Okay, so now that we're switched over to GIMP, let's just close out of this dialog and let's start by adding a new canvas to our screen. So I'm gonna say new and then under advanced options, I'm just gonna make sure that the background color is transparent. I'm gonna say okay, and I'll zoom out a little bit. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna select the gradient tool from our tools panel. And if you hover over the tools, it'll have a little tool tip that tells you what the tool is. So my gradient tool has default colors here of a a dark blue to a purple color, which, which looks kind of nice. So you might have different colors by default because these are set based on the last gradient that I had created. So let me come through here and let me just draw a basic gradient and show what the defaults look like. So if I come to the left side of my screen, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna hold, and I'm just gonna pull across the screen like this. Now notice you get kind of a live update of what's happening with the color. So the farther I pull this across the screen, the more of that initial blue color actually shows up. So if I pull this way over, the, the color becomes mostly blue with a little bit of purple on that edge. Now, if I were to vice versa bring it over like this, you see that there's only a very little bit of that, that initial blue color and a lot of that kind of purple on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna find somewhere kind of in between here. And if I let go, you can see that I have these two nodes essentially. So the first node here, if I were to click on it, you see that we get the starting color over here, this, this blue color. And if I were to click on this other color on the right hand side, you see the ending color, this purple color. So we can come in here and we can actually change this. Let me click on the purple color here. And I'm gonna move this to a green and that looks fine. I'll say okay. So now we've kind of changed the gradient here and it's updated in real time for us. Uh, also keep note that the angle of this line it changes how the gradient appears on your page. So right now we have kind of a uniformly blue on this side and then a uniformly green on this side. We could change the angle of that by bringing this down to the corner here and bringing this up to the corner here. And then maybe we wanna, again, make more blue and we can pull it like that. So you can change a lot of the things about this gradient in order to, to adjust the colors here. So another thing we can do is we can come over to our panel on the left-hand side and we can actually change the pattern of a lot of this stuff. So for instance, we're using a linear gradient right now, but we can actually come in here and we could change it to like a, a radial gradient. And maybe it's a little hard to see when we have it like this. Let me, let me draw this from the beginning here. So you can see as you start pulling this out, hopefully that's visible in the video, this is kind of a radial pattern. It's curved to it where the actual uh, blue color is coming in here. And let's maybe make this a little more obvious with a different shape here. For instance, let's take a spiral. It's very obvious you can see the spiral here. And, and, how that, and how that adjusts. So uh, you can use different patterns to, to change what those gradients look like. I'm gonna go back to the linear for now and just use that linear pattern. Another thing we can do here is we can actually extend this out and we can add different color patterns throughout here. So you can see there's like a little plus sign as I hover over the line here. So if I come in here and I click here, I can add another color palette in this section here to have a multicolored gradient. So Again, this one gives you a left and a right. So it says the color right to the left of this and then a color right to the right. You can keep those the same so it has a, a more even flow or you could have like a very distinct line in between these if you wanna have them different colors. Let's just come in here, let's adjust this. Let's give some nice reds in there and we'll say okay. So that adjusted the left and the right color. So now we go from that blue, it kind of blends to a purple, gets to a red and then goes to the green color. Now you could adjust these independently of each other if you wanted to do it. So if you come back in here, you would unlink these and you would just grab one of these colors and maybe make this one yellow. And this is gonna have a much more distinct line, like I said now, because it goes from the red right to the yellow there without much blending. So I'm just going to come back here. I'll just link this up again and let's, let's, uh, let's come back and let's just pick our purple color and say, okay. Okay, so we're back to that initial color, great. So another thing that we have as an option here is we have some opacity that we can play with. So if we had a, a background image behind this image, we could actually have it show through a little bit by changing the opacity to make this 
gradient a little bit transparent. Now, one of the challenges that's gonna happen when you do this, if you click off this gradient tool to go use another tool, you actually do lose these nodes to actually manipulate this gradient. Now, you can go through and you can recreate the gradient manually after you do that, or you can duplicate that existing gradient, but it's kind of a pain and I really wish there was a way to come in here and re-edit these nodes after they've been drawn and you've gone off of them. I don't believe there, there is a way. If there is, please put a comment in the, the YouTube video and I'll actually take a look at that and hopefully make an adjustment to these videos. But I think it's very similar to like if you were to draw a circle and paint that circle onto a background layer. Once that circle has been painted there, you really can't manipulate the shape, the, the shape or the size of that uh, very easily. We well, can manipulate the size, I guess, but it gets... Uh, rastered to the actual background of the the picture so the same thing happens with this layer let me just kind of demonstrate what that looks like so we have all the ability to manipulate things right now we have these little nodes we can change this it makes it really nice to work with but if we come in here and we create a new layer let's just say that and then let's just draw a circle for instance on that new layer and let's paste that in there and we can move this layer now below our background, and it's kind of cool, you get that cool effect there because this, this top background is transparent, but we can't come back in here and we can't easily go to our gradient tool and re-edit those nodes. Uh, the way that you'd kind of get around doing this is there's a couple of gradient dialogues you can play with. First of all, if you click the edit gradient, you can come to this dialogue here and you can play with some of these gradients. So you can change things like the colors, you can change where these things are set up, you can pick some of the colors here. Maybe we want to make this, I don't know, yellow. So you can you can manipulate those gradients, but you're really, you're not manipulating this gradient anymore. This has been drawn to the image. So you're actually manipulating the ability to create a new gradient here. Another dialog that's at your disposal is if you go to your windows and you go to your dockable dialogs and you come down here to gradients, you click that, you can see some of your older gradients in here. So for instance, you, know, you could grab one of these gradients and then you could come in here and you could actually duplicate this gradient. And then you could use that to then redraw. So it, you know, it's okay, it's nice, but it doesn't really let you go back and edit those in the way that I would typically want to edit um, an existing gradient. So, so keep that in mind when you're playing with these, as you're drawing it, uh, once you draw that gradient, it is gonna be kind of stuck at that gradient. It's not as manipulable as you might hope for. So another thing that I see a lot in some of this modern um, gradients online is you can actually have gradients that are, are based on the same color, but just different shades of the same color. So for instance, this blue gradient here, we can come in here and we can grab that, that HTML hex for that color. And let's come to this side over here and we'll actually add the same hex here. And so that will be blue to blue. There's no gradient. It's the same color to the same color. But if we come in here, then we can start playing with some of the shading, make it a little bit lighter, something like that. And then you have this very subtle kind of effect here where it goes from a darker uh, to a lighter color there. Actually, in this case, it goes lighter to darker. But you could really play around with that and, and mess with some of the stuff to make it really, really cool effects there that are kind of subtle. So a lot of people are doing that these days. Um, feel free to, to play around with some of that stuff on your own. So that's the intro to Gradients. I hope that helped you out and stay tuned for more GIMP tutorials in the near future. All right, thanks for watching.